Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the case of Dante Wright, the young man who was shot and killed by Officer Kim Potter, well, Kim Potter and Police Chief Tim Gannon have both resigned. Um, these kinds of things are continuing to happen in this country because of how they are dealt with. Now, we all know that most of the time resignations mean that they can go somewhere else and get another job. Uh, that is providing she doesn't um, get prosecuted for this. But um, as we've seen in so many cases before, um, it is very rare. It is very rare that a police officer is actually prosecuted after killing a citizen. And so we will see how that goes as the story unfolds. But as of now, uh, she and Tim Gannon, uh, Chief Tim, Tim Gannon, have resigned. Anyway, I want you to take a listen at some of the details and I will be right back. Brooklyn Center, Minnesota Police Chief Tim Gannon and Officer Kimberly Potter, who mistakenly fired her gun, killing 20-year-old Dante Wright during a traffic stop, have resigned. Potter submitted her resignation letter today. It reads, Dear Mayor Elliott, Mr. Edwards, and Chief Gannon, I am tendering my resignation from the Brooklyn Center Police Department effective immediately. I have loved every minute of being a police officer and serving this community to the best of my ability, but I believe it is in the best interest of the community, the department, and my fellow officers if I resign immediately. Sincerely, Officer Kim Potter. Potter, who has been a cop for more than 25 years, was training a new officer when this incident happened. The city council passed a resolution in support of relieving Gannon of his duties as police chief. He was criticized for the police department's response to the protest of Wright's death. Also, out of a job. The Brooklyn Center city manager, Kurt Bogany. He was relieved of his duties after publicly disagreeing with Mayor Mark Elliott about firing Potter at yesterday's press conference. Bogany, who was over the police department, called for due process. Elliott confirmed the firing in this tweet. Effective immediately our city manager has been relieved of his duties, and the deputy city manager will be assuming his duties moving forward. I will continue to work my hardest to ensure good leadership at all levels of our city government. Wright was initially stopped for having an air freshener hanging in his car. Minnesota is one of several states that prohibits hanging anything from a vehicle's rearview mirror that might obstruct a driver's vision. In a tweet later this afternoon, Mayor Elliott has requested that Minnesota Governor Tim Walz assign the case to the state's Attorney General Keith Ellison. Okay, so as you've heard, Police Chief Tim Gannon, he had a disagreement about the firing of Porter. So we already see where this is headed to where they, they automatically say, well, uh, they were doing their job. It was a mistake. You can't make a mistake and kill someone and think that I'm sorry is enough. We continue to see this kind of thing in this country. And there is this, this idea or this thought that they should never be held responsible for their actions, even if it results in the, the loss of life. That is the mindset that exists in this country. But this whole thing about them resigning, I just kind of wanted to weigh in on the fact that uh, that could be headed in, in a direction uh, that we've seen before. We know that if they are fired, okay, this is in the case of the police chief um, and uh, Kim Porter. If you're fired, you might not be able to get a job again in law enforcement, okay? Uh, so they both resigned. So I guess there were talks about uh, firing her and the police chief disagreed. And so I guess there was a rush to uh, go ahead and wrap this thing up with a resignation. You see, uh, those are the loopholes that exist when you are trying to maintain uh, your privilege. Now, I think it's important that someone talks about, and maybe I'll talk about this in another video, but there seems to be this idea of you know, not wanting to really own up to the heinousness of what happens in this country. And as a result of that, whenever a narrative is presented, 
where someone disagrees with an action of the system against a group of people, it is believed that we are just making too much out of nothing. All of these reports year in and year out, for decades on end, for even hundreds of years, we've seen how so-called black people or people of color have been treated in this country, but there's this pretense that is not that bad. It's not as bad as we say. Now, I understand that this young man is of mixed race, but in their eyes, he's a black young man and he received the same treatment. Now, she says it was, was a mistake, but you cannot expect for people to accept something being a mistake when there's a loss of life. I mean, that sounds foul in my opinion to believe that that's supposed to be acceptable. It doesn't matter if the young man was mixed, black or white. If you, as an officer who is trained to do a job, kill someone by mistake, you say it was by mistake, you can't expect that family to say, oh, you didn't mean it. I accept your apology. That's not how it works when you are grieving the loss of a loved one. Uh, there was a report of a young white male who was shot and killed by police as well. And in that case, um, it is being speculated by some that it could have been suicide by cop because he had an airsoft weapon and he was pointing it at police vehicles as they were approaching. Uh, there were witnesses around that stated that he was pointing it at police and that the police responded to him pointing a very realistic looking weapon at them. If that is the case, if he did do that, then it may have been what people are speculating. I mean, that's what it sounds like. But we see cases on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, monthly, yearly, to where young men don't even have any weapon. They don't have anything in their hands. They're not pointing anything. But yet, they are losing their lives. Young women losing their lives, sitting in their own apartments, minding their own business, losing their lives. So we are dealing with a system that is on life support. When they say it's broken, oh, it's far beyond broken. As a matter of fact, I would even venture to say that it was built this way. When you continue to see loss of life in this way, what are we to think? How should we respond? Anyway, I'm done with this video. In the comment section, leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. Share and like this video. And with that, I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.